I know you want to know the secret to them extra clean vocals. You want to know why, you know, them joints you be hearing on the radio sound so different than your tracks. What you missing? <laughs> well, it's been right up under your breath the whole time. <laughs> What up, YouTube family? This your boy, Wavy Wayne, wavywayne.com, and I'm back at you again with another industry secret. <laughs> this top secret, man. You can't tell nobody about this. If you go to, you know what? Cut the video, cut. <laughs> now, I'm gonna tell you, man, because you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm into giving out the game, man. If you like how I get y'all game, make sure you thumbs up, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe to this video right here, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and wait while you do that and turn on the notifications down there. All right, cool, you ready? Bet, so the secret to getting them vocals perfect in that record is cutting out them breaths. See, a lot of y'all will record these records and then you end up, after you compress it and EQ it all that, especially that compression and that limiting, it starts to bring up all that breaths in between each take and each word and phrase. <sighs> all of that, is, it, it muddies up your mix, right? So I'm gonna tell you a couple of different ways that we can actually go through and clean this up and it's gonna save you a whole bunch of time and energy and, and, and it's just gonna make your records even more polished, all right? So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Bow! So the first way we're gonna talk about is like more of like an automatic kind of deal um, and it's called strip silence, okay? Now Pro Tools has, has had this feature built in for a long time and to be honest, um, I don't really use it all the time. I'm more of a manual kind of guy but sometimes when I'm, when I'm working a little faster, I will start off with this strip silence. It's a great tool and not only can it be used to remove uh, breaths in between phrasing um, but it can also be used to um, uh, you know, just uh, take out any dead space, right? The dead space, if we're looking at this clip here in my session, right? So we see all this dead space in between phrasing, right? Um, not only is there breaths in there, but there's room noise, there's, you know, uh, the singer or, or uh, the performer moving around, and uh, there's hum from your air conditioner, there's, there's all kind of stuff that's happening in this space that actually will clog up your mix, okay? So, we're gonna learn how we can clean that up and take our mixes to the next level, okay? So with Strip Silence, this is basically how that works. Let's, let's just take a listen to what we have here um, without, with the music and then I'll play it without it. Shout out to Wishmaster and Lydia Caesar, man. Wishmaster produced this track and actually this hook is gonna be available for sale real soon if it's not already. I'm gonna leave a link down below, all right? And you see that session, that's right there, man. I, I, all that is is one of them Wavy Wayne templates, man. I ain't really do too much to that right there. I started off with that Wavy Wayne template and I, and I kept it pretty basic, right? If you need that template, go ahead and go to wavywayne.com. This is my uh, Waves uh, template, you feel me? So let's just go ahead and now, um, we're gonna focus on just this vocal, <clears throat> this vocal take for now. I'm gonna mute these backgrounds and let's mute this uh, beat here. And let's just see what we have here on this vocal raw, what it sounds like. Riding around my city with the top low. There ain't no place that I can't go. From the corner sort of sold out shows. Hood famous. They know what my name is. The whole hood got my back, we gon' make it. Hood famous. The whole hood got my back. 
Okay, so we can actually hear in between those takes. And, and even though you can't necessarily see it that well, um, if I go up to this uh, little um, a zoom control section here and I zoom this audio file in, you can see that even but that between each little phrasing that Lydia has done is not completely silent. There is some audio there. And again, as I start to compress and limit this session, that stuff becomes more and more apparent and it's going to get enhanced, um, especially if you're stacking and doubling and tripling your tracks. Um, you don't want to have all that noise build up. All right. Um, so so here's how we can address that. Again, the first way we're going to talk about is um, using strip silence. Let me just uh, get over here a little bit. So to access strip silence, you just want to go up to the edit menu, choose uh, strip silence. And the shortcut for that is command U. All right. Make sure you learn your shortcuts. Now, you see how it pops up now in the strip silence dialog box. It's some pretty uh, simple controls. Um, so you just have to understand it. The strip threshold, right? That basically means um, at which point in the audio file, how loud do you want the part to be before we consider it as silence, right? Um, and how I typically do this is I'll select a, a part or a phrase, you know, um, in, a, in a track, a clip. You're going to select a clip or a part of a clip, however you want to work. Uh, but typically just go one track at a time at least, you know what I'm saying? Clip by clip. You don't want to try to do the whole session at once is then you run into a bunch of problems and, and you want to kind of get as detailed with this as possible now this will save you a lot of time but if you try to cheat the system and, and do the whole session at one time then you're going to spend more time fixing this than it actually helped you um in, in, in the first place all right so don't play yourself baby do it right take your time you're smart you know <laughs> all right i'm gonna quit all right, so the strip threshold again, that's just the threshold of what will be considered silence. What I typically do with this, um, I like to start with everything turned all the way down, right? And I will just simply start to raise the threshold, and you will see that there's a little uh, white box that will start to appear, right? Now, when that box, those white boxes, once it appears over just the kind of parts that I that I want to keep there, then that's when. I know I got my threshold set. Cool. And let me, I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit more. So right now, you can see right now, anything over negative 59 dB will be considered um, uh, 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 audio that I want to keep. If it's less than negative 59 dB, it's going to cut it off. I think I can raise that even more because there's some little stuff in the beginning that's getting left in there. And as I raise this threshold a little more, you see some of that more quiet stuff is being left out. So whatever is within the white box, that's what you're going to be keeping. And the stuff that is um, excluded from being within the white box, that's what's going to be um, uh, stripped out of there. So again, let's just focus on this little section here. So we can see that. Um, cool. Cool. Maybe I can raise this a little bit more. Oh, yeah. See, you see how this little part right here just uh, went away. I know I don't want that. So as I raise the strip threshold a little bit more, that goes right away. So now the next part of this is going to be for me to actually adjust my minimum strip duration. Um, this just means that just in case there's a little bit of, of a, a sound somewhere, some click or pop or a little <laughs> some something happens, um, I don't necessarily want to keep that. So um, I'm going to make sure my minimum strip duration and, and you also see how it's separating the individual words. I want the minimum strip duration. You know what I'm saying? I'm adjusting it to I'm visually looking at it to get it where I want it to be. Every song is going to be different. And in this case, it's keeping those individual phrases together. I don't want to chop up the space between every single word because then it'll start sounding a little unnatural. But this to me looks like this is going to work. I'm going to zoom out and just verify that it's done it correctly for all of my uh, um, phrases here. You know, you see only this, the, the actual phrasings. Each phrasing is being selected there. So that's cool. Well, let's just uh, zoom back over here a little bit. Cool. And then if you notice, let me zoom in a little bit more. The 
the some of the starts and the endings are being cut off so what i'll do is add a little pad at the at the beginning and end so this is the clip start pad the clip end pad so just by increasing this a little bit boom a couple milliseconds at the start and you typically want just a little bit at the start but a little bit longer at the end to uh, kind of catch those tails of s's and stuff like that that can be a little bit more silent um, then a little quieter than what your threshold might be. So um, I got 17 milliseconds pad for my start and it's looking like that's gonna be good. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and take it up to, you know, a little bit more. Let's just go. I can, I can, oh, you can't type it in. Okay, fuck it. Um, but if you wanna get more precise, you can always just hold the command key down because uh, um, whenever you make an adjustments to any sliders or faders in Pro Tools, just hold the command key. If you're down on the PC, then it's gonna be controlled. And then my clip end pad, I'm just going to adjust that to like the little ending is not being cut off, right? And that's pretty much it for making the selection. So I got that dialed in pretty nicely. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, I, I can choose from one of these options. Now, again, I'm going to choose strip. Strip is going to um, take away any part that is not selected right now. Anything that's not within one of these white boxes, strip is going to strip it out of there and get that silence out of there, get that dead air and the breaths up out of there. Okay. Separate. Separate will simply just separate them. Um, and so that there's new clips for every part and then I can go in and manually delete it myself if I wanted to. Um, extract will do the opposite of strip. Well, extract will delete what is within your um or you know saying just a, a cut out whatever is in your selection and leave the silent parts okay so let's just see so if i hit extract that's not what i wanted let's undo that if i hit separate again you see it's just giving me all the separate clips that's not what i wanted but strip that is what i want and now i get these nice individual strips let's see what this sounds like Riding around my city with the top low There ain't no place that I can't go From the corner sort of sold out shows Hood famous They know what my name is The whole hood got my back, we gon' make it Hood famous The whole hood got my back so strip silence worked pretty well in that case, right? Let's just undo that real quick. That's how strip silence work. Let's move on to a different technique that may work as well. Now, obviously we can always just get manual in here and go in and start selecting different sections, um, you know, using our trim and all of that, um, adding fades, of course. And I should have mentioned that after you do your strip silence, you probably still want to go in and add fades to the top and tails of each one of those clips. Now, that is how I would do that. Let's just step back though. Sometimes cutting out the spaces in between uh, the, the clip or cutting out certain breaths will make your track seem unnatural. So let's just see here. Riding around my city with the top low. There ain't no in this case, that won't, that's not a big deal. That's not even a necessarily a breath right there that's audible. So I can cut that out and then just add little fades. Riding around my city with the top low. There ain't no place that I can't go from the All right. So, but here is a section. Go. All right. That I probably that little uh, go. Can't go. I don't I don't necessarily like that little extra breath at the end of go, right? And that was left on when I did the strip silence. So, what I'm going to do is just separate it right there, and I'm just going to put a little fade right there so if you notice i am in grid mode and i'm just holding down the command key to actually suspend the grid so that it doesn't um uh, snap to the grid as i'm adding those fades and making my selections that i can't go all right so that kind of helped a little bit but you know what i'm gonna go ahead and adjust that fade i'm gonna bring that curve down a little bit now the reason i just didn't cut it all the way out is because it's probably going to sound unnatural place that i can't go from the corner yeah, I like how that sounded a little better, and let's just trim that in. Place that I can't go. There we go. Place that I can't go from the. And without it sounding too unnatural. Now, like a lot of times, especially with like rappers and stuff, when they got uh, bars that's going pretty close together, if you cut out all of those breaths, you will get a nice, uh, I mean, a uh, uh, unwanted, unnatural sound. 
So this is another technique that I like to do is instead of cutting it out, you see, I'll just separate this clip here. So I'm just placing my cursor at this point where I want to separate. We can see that this is the breath, right? So that's my breath and I'm just going to separate it, right? And I'm going to use the clip gain to actually turn that breath down a little bit so that the feeling that, 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 um, you know, that air is still there, um, but it's just not going to be as audible uh, once I start compressing and stuff. So I turn it down uh, a good amount. Let's just see what that sounds like. Place that I can't go from the corners. Right. So it gives me that same natural feeling, Place but just not as much. Place that I can't go from the corner sort of sold out shows. Right. And then again, just one more time to, to demonstrate this here. I can just trim that off. Hot. And this don't this don't necessarily need anything, so I'll cut all of that off. Um, and uh, let's just trim this again. I'm just using my smart tool. That's the reason I'm able to make these fades like this using a smart tool. And then I love this new feature here in Pro Tools uh, 12 or in later that allows you to just adjust your fade right here um, on the fade curve. Sold out shows. See clean that up so um let's see if i delete that fade sold out shows right and then before but I sold out shows. so much cleaner of a sound um just by using that let's just listen to this beginning section here uh with the with the music and everything but I sold Yeah. It's in this one, it might be a little bit. There ain't no place that I can't go. Yeah, cool. So that is a couple of techniques on how you can actually remove the uh, breaths and dead air in between clips, all right? If you have another way that you like to use, make sure you leave a comment below. If anybody out there is looking for professional mixing services, remember, you can always hit me up. Hit up wavywayne.com or shoot me an email. You know it's in the description. And be sure to check out wavywayne.com to get your own custom recording and mixing templates made just for y'all, all right? This your boy Wavy Wayne. Be dope, 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 dope.